How to build a Google Bot in 12 easy steps. Step 1. Fasten the bracket to the motor. Ensure that the holes are aligned correctly. After that is done, you can fasten the motor to the Google Bot's bottom. So this is a 3 to 6 volt DC motor. Uh, that is exactly, that is the reason why it can work with the 18650 battery, that is a 3.7 volt battery. Uh, the motors also have encoders on it uh, that just assists in accuracy. And there we go, now we're fastening the motor to the GoGoBot. As you can see, we are ensuring that the holes are perfectly aligned. And there we go, that is the motor onto it. Now connect the motor into the JST connector. As you can see, there's a male and a female. Uh, these connectors only connect in one direction, so please do not try to force it. And as you can see, we're doing the same on the other side. Okay, and this step two is to fix the caster wheel onto the bottom of the board. The caster wheel will just assist the go-go button going left and right and forward and backwards. Step three, plug in the ultrasonic sensor onto the go-go board. There is space for it and it is also marked. It only goes in one direction. Step four is to attach the wheels to the motors. The motors, ah, the wheels go in onto the motors only in one or one way. Please don't try to force it. Then step five, we have the Uno. Plug in the Uno onto the GoGoBot board. Uh, it also goes in one way only. Step six, plug in the Bluetooth module onto the GoGoBot board. It also only goes in one way. Then step 7 is to plug in the o OLED onto the GoGoBot board. There is space for it and it also has a name so you can see where it's supposed to go. Then step 8 is connect the pillars to the GoGoBot board at the bottom first. We're doing the bottom side, you can do any side you actually you prefer as long as they are all connected and fastened correctly. Please use a tool to assist. As you can see, there are specific holes made for the pillars. And there we go, that's the pillars. Secondly, up step nine, that is the battery. That is the 18650 battery that we spoke, spoke, about, spoke about earlier. This is a 3.7 volt battery. Please ensure that negative goes to negative and positive goes to positive. Step 10 would be to connect the two boards together. So that would be putting the top onto the pillars and fastening it. So the pillars just basically assist in stability so that the Google board doesn't move around when it's moving like wobbling then step 11 is to connect the ribbon cable to the gogobot these also only go in one direction so this will just give power from 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 the top of the gogobot to the bottom so both sides can work then step 12 is to connect the usb cable the arduino cable to the uno and then you're re re ready to program your gogobot and there we go